Hello Wojciech Pietrzak again second round of playoffs paging Grand Slam 2021 I'm playing against David Lancashire whom I already played on turn one he won yesterday he won only one game this one against me Uh, but by a very lucky set of circumstances including some players who didn't appear he advanced for today and in the previous round he eliminated Michael Stryker, Stryker. now we, I'm playing USSR by my choice <coughs> I'm hoping to not get defected with this one I didn't so blockade may go extra strong it's not too clear what my first move should be however I think I'll get rid of this one <laughs> Or not. Hmm. Now, Italy fifty percent chance. breaking Germany is not a bad idea whatsoever and NATO before either of them gets activated. But now I wanted to create multiple threats at once.
I think the wisest play is blockade AR5 and CIA created AR6. <coughs> CIA. Ooh. Okay, in this case, I'll have to get rid of CIA ASAP next turn. <coughs> so losing with Tefcon like this would be very, very crippling. Okay, I, I overcombinated maybe with this CIA. Um, but well, if I play it at the beginning of turn two, not the biggest deal ever. him action round six if he has anything to discard and decides to and if he does he should decide to because he doesn't have access to western money yeah marshall plan captured nazis scientist and with this hand i actually think that cia is quite harmless due to deco Vietnam revolts. So. <coughs> Only concern is I don't want to headline it because I want to have this up. he plays any war on me. <coughs> five year plan. Hoo, hoo, hoo. <laughs> this is always funny. When five year plan grabs defectors and actually cancels the event. What now? I assume Ku Egypt is what else? So as crisis, not the worst idea ever. it may deny him access to the region, sub-region, entirely. <coughs> Deco for the event, so breaking Thailand and then Vietnam revolts may as well go for ops.
yeah, we didn't have time to dominate it. <coughs> if I'm able to, I'd like to hold the China card. US Japan Asia is of course the biggest deal now because it hasn't been scored but it's not easy to dominate <coughs> There's a bunch of non battlegrounds so this one to South Korea was, yeah, it's worth. But other than that, yeah, and he's going to activate for Muslim resolution. So other than that, I feel setting up European domination would be wiser. Of course, taking Korea. If he takes Taiwan, even first, oh, uh, such a case fight for Korea is a must <coughs> okay at least I got my meal ups at the very worst I can hold for US Japan one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three. I could place the China card in Japan, but I think stopping him this way. is better. However, okay, he invested strongly in Asia, but he will dominate it. <coughs> he only needs one of these. Of course, I get another decal to headline. I didn't, and I also didn't get any discarder. Oh, sorry, I didn't get Asia's correct, I got a discarder. I'm probably losing Asia, therefore. Yeah. And 
not winning the war. Okay, coup time. I'm controlling both of these cards, so I'm not hurrying with NATO. was a decent roll and then I think Middle East or Europe depending on whether he scores or not <coughs> scored so Your plan is pointless because I don't really have scorings I'd like to discard except Southeast Asia. <coughs> Five-year plan with special relationship and containment here. So I think the goal is to set up some European threat. UN intervention with distal again. Ooh. Not a fan of this. Europe no longer as important. like the VP truck but the remaining map doesn't look that bad Special relationship for free is for free. Changing my mind and perhaps holding five year plan. It's now pointless to not do it. Gone, so hardly a downside risk with this. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Over controlling Angola would be wise. But even if he flips it now, I may always realign it. <coughs> now, Angola and I think double Nigeria. <coughs> Good voice 
of America. Why is on the other hand South Africa is? Mm -hmm. Yes, this was what I was talking about. Oh, whoa. The last one was nasty. Oh, well. Okay, five year plan may be useful for South America if it appears after he gets access and I don't. is better than Red Scar, but Red Scar is missile and device better. So Red Scar it is. <coughs> okay, there's a check in on his hand now. Best move now is to cool Angola anyway. If he uses the event, to scorings. One of them was Middle East, so now the remaining scorings don't look that good. <coughs> Except Africa, of course. Oh, no, 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 no. We are not getting anywhere here. Your plan is going to go with some summit, I think. So our man in Tehran to space rather sooner than later. Then boosting Africa. And East European unrest. Ignoring Southeast Asia for now. <coughs> An 
extra to France would also be nice to deny his dominating after some Truman combos. Truman is still somewhere in the deck, not removed. <coughs> Playing the entire hand. <coughs> yes, Green Sales was played. Now I suddenly lack a source of victory points. Africa being the nine exception, of course. Your plan should probably prevent some nasty colonial rear guards. That's your seven. Trap, it didn't work. But I'm not feeling too certain. I lack source of victory points due to this Kennedy draw and some lucky draws of scoring. The timing of the scoring was against me in this game. Everything else is okay. Muslim revolution is pointless. Quagmire is not pointless and not a big deal if defected. Africa and Central America. Okay, let's fight for this. Good one, good one. This 
succeeded on first attempt. So probably pointless to fight for arms race right now. It's better to establish position here. I always have chair. So Guatemala can be countered with Che and perhaps some Botswana. Birdshop goes to space. Yeah, no more arms race. limbs for ops because it's pointless to trigger the event. Maybe after Camp David, but Camp David is a hold card. First failed coup. Sorry, for his first coup, which wasn't failed, of course. To be able to use two on these two. If he realigns me off Mexico. <coughs> Glad his brush war failed. Now I need him to not draw ABM. So missile envy looks safe. Africa and OPEC. They are both great.
what expected. This Poland goes under attack. Oh, but you didn't have to seriously. You also could do better with this roll, yeah. But that's true. So I guess let's roll again, shall we? We'll just earn three victory points. After all this roll, was just two. Increase the giveaway of OPEC. Hmm. Let's calculate it. If I play it. He may then play Missile Envy to Mexico. Let's be greedy. He'll have to find some mill ups. So Africa scoring first. And then taking Venezuela is always wise. Central America just preventing against his some nasty things. Oh, and hmm. yeah, I got it. But now OPEC plus Central America could be enough. You two incident a good cold card. Mexico, I guess. Space race points. To have good realignments, he needs to go twice, then realign, then place something in Cuba. So, one, two, three, four. Okay, he may be able to do it. should have gone first. Forgot it, but whatever. Hope it gives five, captured Nazi gives two, U2 incident gives one. This is 
exactly enough provided he doesn't get any victory points. Of course he might be spacing anything. Like this. And failing. Central America scoring is also helpful now. So maybe I just took revenge for what happened yesterday. In my game against David when he steamrolled me on turn 5, now I'm close to steamrolling him on turn 6. But the game isn't won yet and I've lost many games as USSR after leading by 19 points. I also won multiple games after my opponents leading by 19 points. But not this time. Thank you for watching and see you next time.